You obviously used to work at Fox as a political analyst. You were on mm -hmm. O'Reilly's program all the time. I'm wondering what your reaction is to today's announcement. Well, I mean, I think that it's it's stunning because Bill O'Reilly was Fox News. He had so much power there, and it was sort of unthinkable that he would ever leave there except on his own terms. And I did his show regularly um, for a long time, and you know, I, I was thinking about an, an incident that had happened early on in my career there where I was on air actually with Margaret Hoover, who's at CNN now, uh, on a regular segment. We were on every Monday, and he got Margaret's name wrong, and Margaret said, hey, get my name right, and he said, oh, I'm sorry, there's a lot of blondes in this operation. I can't keep you all straight. Megyn Kelly's coming up, starts throwing all these blonde names. Um, and then at the end of the segment says, thank you for your blondness to both of us. So I went to his executive producer and I said, um, he needs to apologize and he needs to never do that again um, or I'm not doing his show anymore. And I was told basically, well, you know, Bill, there's nothing we can do about it. He's a throwback. He's kind of an Archie Bunker. And I said, well, if you mean he's a Neanderthal, then we're on the same page. He can never do that again. I'm a political analyst here. Went to Bill, came back, said, no, he's not going to apologize. So then I went to my, my, I was called into my boss's office. I was told, what can we do? It's Bill. There's nothing we can do. Um, you know, we're sorry this happened to you, but there's nothing we can do. I complained to Roger Ailes. I was told the same exact thing. There's nothing we can do. It's Bill. He's a jerk. Nobody likes him. Uh, you know, and then Roger said, you know, Bill, he likes to put up uh, p dirty pictures and ask pretty girls to talk about them. And so the whole thing was sort of Bill. Oh, and then he said, you know, and, you know, what am I going to do? I don't like him, but he makes so much money, there's nothing I can do. That was wait, the wait, culture. Wait, wait, who, who was it who said just that? Roger Ailes. Um, and so this was the culture, which was Bill was, you know, just too big, and so that there was nothing you could do about it. So I did quit his show, and I didn't do it for two or three years. This was an election year. This is the biggest show at Fox. And, um, and then about three years later, I went back, and I said, look, I'm willing to give this another try. And I, he said, sure, and I came on the show. And I never had another problem. We actually ended up having quite a good relationship. Um, but it just, it just spoke volumes that I had to completely handle it on my own, that there was nobody that was willing to even say anything to him, just to basically say you can't treat one of our political analysts this way.